super trains to the rescue. Emergency racer coming through. You're not as fast as me, James, because I'm the only uh, bright electric engine on soda. You may be the only bright electric engine on soda, Connor, but I am the very fast splendid red racer on soda. And there's not a chance that you could beat me. Oh, we'll see. Remember, Percy, it is a trap. Don't forget that. Oh, don't worry, Diesel. I won't forget. Last corner to the finish line is a rotten rail spike. Yeah, and that will be you. Racer Trapper coming through. Palace. Then there was trouble. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. James, Percy, Connor, Diesel. Are you okay? I think so. Oh, we're fine. Just a little bumper. I'm not fine. My poor paintwork. Just then, Thomas arrived with the fat controller. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, it looks like nothing to all of you had done too much damage. Percy, Connor, you're you're okay. Diesel, you're okay. But James, your paintwork's all scratched. Now, so you're going to the steamworks to be checked over. Oh, you'll have to find another route, Gordon. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Right away. <sighs> but you four have got to be more careful whilst doing. Things like game stuff next time. You, you're going to have an accident. We're sorry, sir. We didn't mean to. We'll promise to be more careful next time when doing all those things. And I sure hope my paintwork's not important. Just then, Nia had arrived with the breakdown crane that put t t the Thomas's. Five, four friends back on the track. <sighs> Guys, I'm, I really don't know what to tell this, but I believe Sir Tom had his right. You you guys have got to be more careful next time. Sorry, Thomas. Yes, this is only just a game. <sighs> now we're, we're, we were nearly busted. It's like nothing, ar nothing around here is not going to be fine. What are you talking about, Diesel? Of course everything's going to be just fine. All you have to do is just sing through the countryside, and then when you you see a friend, you could cheer them on, like saying hello. And I'm telling you, everything's going to be just fine. Life on so door shimmers. Life on so door shines. And I know for absolute certain that everything is certainly fine. We say hello to our friends, we trace down the line, we can jump over hell. And I know for absolute certain that everything is certainly fine. Maybe we should give it a try here. Yeah. Life on so door shimmer. Life on so door shines, and we 
know for absolute certain that everything is certainly fine. You see, guys, all you have to do is just sing happily, and then everything will be all fine by the end of the day. Life on so door shimmers, life on so door shines, and we know for absolute certain that everything certainly fine, that everything is certainly fine. Yep, everything's gonna be just fine, guys. Now, all you have to do is just have a little fun with your friends and I'm telling you everything around here is go all going to be truly 100% fine about it see guys Thomas has got a point all you have to do is just sing happily and before you know it, by the end of the day, just like as he said, and how we joined in too, is that everything's going to be just fine. Yeah, Nia, yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, but I really hope James will be okay. I'm sure he would. Later that night, Thomas and his Thomas and his pen pals all returned to Titmus sheds to have a lovely good night's sleep after a busy day. Thomas, are you sure that everything's gonna be just fine if we just keep singing along and doing anything else? Of course I'm sure, Diesel. Everything's got all going to be just fine. All we have to do is just sing happily, not not do anything else that is a trouble to ourselves. And I am telling you, everything's gonna be just fine. And even if it means things might not be, but they will. So all you have to do is trust yourself, trust your friends, and everything's gonna be just fine. Yes, that's good, Thomas. Oh, I think we should all go to sleep now. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Diesel. Good night, Percy. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Nia. Good night, Connor. Soon, everyone was fast asleep. Everyone was asleep. Well... Not the cranes and Salty at the docks. They were working hard. All trying to do things that they should do. Yeah. <sighs> and the ship was sail and tidy. Why does he sing that? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Salty often sings sea shanties whilst doing so. But even at the midnight, we can't likely sleep without <sighs> But we should probably just stop working for a second. There's supposed to be a shooting star coming in. That, that's a good. Yeah, a shooting star coming here is good. Because they're all about... You, you ever try to do think of some? I we've got we've got found out of millions of them. Then, as Cassia was about to start work, she saw something shooting through the sky. It looked like a meteor, all right? <gasps> there it is! Whoa! 
I didn't think it would be so bright. It looks like it's heading straight for Silvador, which is where we are now. Cranky looked further. That's because it is. I can't look if it hits the ground. See you when it's over, Cranky. Right, I'm going to close my eyes. See you on the other side. Oh no! Soon as the night is, what was that? Oh, what was what, Thomas? What happened? I, I don't know, Diesel. I was only just sleeping whilst checking the time on my shirt, and then, then I heard a bright flash, and then I heard a loud boom. It could have been a meteor, all right. With the sound of like that, I'm sure something else could have been gone bad, kind of. We have to go see if anyone needs help. Thomas, Percy, Con and Hannah wait quickly toward the scene. As they arrived, they were shocked to see what they saw. There was a big meteor that was that had glowing cracks all around it. And it had a made huge lined hole all around it. Harold hovered over to see what was the matter. Hello, chaps! What's going on here? There's a meet the a meteor alright has arrived, Harold. Look! Oh my goodness! That is so horrible! You know, that doesn't look right. Just need to check a little closer. Cinders and ashes! What's wrong, Thomas? The meteor, it has glowing cracks all around it when it crashed! Thomas was right. The section of the meteor had large glowing cracks all around it, glistening through the night. Maybe we should take it back with us. That is if it's not too hot. I don't know. It looks rather dangerous. No, Percy, Connor's right. Let's just take it, just in case. But don't worry. I'm sure that the meteor's not having had to do feeling, feeling a bit dangerous over it. Soon, it was on the flatbed, ready and waiting to be taken. I have a bad feeling about this, Thomas. It's going to be fine, Percy. But Percy was still rather worried. Something tells me everything is not going to be fine. Then they got back. Thomas, what do you and the other, what do you, Percy and Connor, have there? It's a meteor right near. Yeah, we just saw it shooting through the sky and then it crashed and straight through the countryside, le leaving a large hole ne near it. But we can't have it staying here. It's just for one night, Diesel, and then I'll put it away to a safer, safer spot. Well, you promise? I promise. Now, I'll just park it somewhere whilst you do, Percy and Connor, go back. Soon, Thomas shunted it in a small siding where no one could go. The wind of the sound of the seas rattled, like if something was happening. Harold was sound asleep, but some of the others were still asleep too. Thomas, however, was finding it hard to sleep. Then... Diesel, stop messing with your light! Huh? 
Diesel? Diesel? Thomas went outside the shed to take a closer look. What is going on with that meteor? Surely it shouldn't have, should have um, gotten anything to do about it. Thomas could see the meteor glowing. So maybe that's why. Thomas went round for a closer look, but very, very slowly. I wonder if I could touch it a little. Weird. Huh? Ah! Cinders and ashes! What the heck? There, in a small part of the meteor, hold five magic crystals. They glistened in front of Thomas's face. Wow! Yeah, they have five magic crystals inside. Where did it go? Okay, maybe it's from here. Yep, it is. Thomas had never seen something like it. I can't believe it. I have to get my friend's attention. And they'll be so pleased to find what they, what I found. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! There's something you have to see! Oh, Thomas. What, why did you wake us for? Sorry, Percy, but there's something that you've got to see to believe. Would you? Do you want me, Connor, Nia and Diesel to come round? Yes! Besides, I found some things, some things that seem magical. Connor. Diesel, round here! Hey! Hey, how'd you get over there so fast? Get over where? Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Mail letters! What the wall? Wow! That is amazing! Yeah! So, in particular, wow, I just fought at that mud from nowhere. That is awesome. Oh, this is amazing. You, truculent space pumpkin. You crushed my favorite end! Oh, oh I'm so sorry, I could literally just do. Uh, <laughs> Diesel, you blue black mast! What? I did? Yes! 
gosh, you did! That is awesome! And I can look through some binoculars by using my eye system! It feels like we've got superpowers! Oh, this is amazing! Yes! We're gonna need a new name for ourselves. Why do we need a new name for ourselves, Thomas? I'm not sure, Percy. I can't think of any. Me neither. No, me. Or me. Oh, I know. How about we call ourselves helping, helping out engines, but more. Or, how, oh, I know. How about rescue engines 3000? Rescue Engines 3000 is not a real name, Diesel. <laughs> but it's not fair if I get to choose a name. It's literally not fair. Why don't I get to choose a name? It just doesn't exactly roll up the tongue, Diesel. How about the Super Trains? Super trains? Oh yeah, that's a great idea, Thomas. All right, let's go to the Steamworks and get ourselves upgraded. Because that means we could help anyone in any situations. That's a good idea, Thomas. And so, they have. <laughs> All right, super trains, let's get out and, and, and help everyone. Yes, Thomas, let's do it. Maybe I can help in any way I could. That's, that, that makes a fair point, Diesel. You're part of the team, too. Now let's get out there and help everyone in any situations! Yeah, 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 woo! Yeah! <laughs> Wait for me! The next day, Gordon was just puffing along the line, feeling very proud of himself. Oh, <sighs> there's nothing quite like puffing down the line as usual. But then there was trouble. <gasps> oh no! Help! Help! I can't stop! Help! <sighs> oh, luckily no one was hurt, but Gordon lay off the line, dazed and confused. And there was no other engine around to help him out. Ho ho ho! Have no fear, Speedy Chan is here! What danger can I rescue you from? Oh, uh, Speedy Chan, thank goodness you're here. Are you a super train? Yes, I'm a super train, and I'm full of electricity. <clears throat> what danger can I rescue you from? I've derailed, and I can't get up. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Oh, thank you, Speedy Chan. You're a hero. Happy to help, Gordon. She's fast. Because, you know, electric engines are strong and fast vehicles all the time. Meanwhile, on the other side of the island, James was cross that he had to be pulling a goods train, which was not his favourite thing to do. 
I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Why can't I, t Henry or Edward do it? James was so busy grumbling that he didn't see some two trucks that were blocking his way. <gasps> oh no, help, help! I think that scratched my paintwork. <gasps> James knew that there was no other engine around to help him too. Oh no, now there's no other engine around to help. Help, help! Dun 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 Have no fear Blue Wonder can save you What danger can I rescue you from? Nothing too dangerous. I've just derailed and no one else is around to help me except you, Blue Wonder. Why are you blue like Thomas? Oh, Thomas is one of my uh, students of the Super Train Guide, and I can help you in any situation. <gasps> and in all time, Thomas pull, pushed James back onto the track. Thank you, Blue Wonder. You knew just what to do. Happy to help. Now I must go on. Sodor is calling on the Super Trains to help them. Hmm. Well, that seems about it. Later, Thomas still went to to help to went to check on his friends who were feeling very proud of themselves. Okay, guys, how are you feeling in your new looks as the super trains? We're doing great, Blue Wonder. Yeah, my white lines are like between black and white. I like race a race flag, but different when I do black mist. And I'm more like well supercharged. It's like these crystals amplify something about us. Yeah, and uh, with my X-ray eye viewers, I was able to intact James who had derailed. What danger did you rescue anyone from, Super Trains? First of all, I helped Skiff who was in need of help. I helped uh, Salty who had run out of fuel. I helped Gordon who had crashed into a flatbed. I helped, I helped, I helped the trucks who were all messed up in line, like the troublesome trucks. Okay, now, Let's just go away for the night and just have a quick rest before we can go back into helping everyone on Sodor. Does that have? Do we have a deal, Super Trains? Yeah, 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 yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Um. By the way, Thomas. Um. How's Bear doing? Oh, Bear. Well, he seems to be doing quite well, Percy. <laughs> Hello, you five. What are you doing wearing costumes? Hello, Bear. Where are the super trains? Cause we've got we've we've became them from five magic crystals. Got? Did you get them from the magic railroad? No, Bear. We got them from a magical meteor that crashed on Sodor last night. Yeah, and it's like the crystals amplify something about us that we can gain each other for that and help anyone in any situations on Sodor. Okay, that sounds fun. Anyway, I'm not, I need to get on and do some express duties whilst Gordon and Rebecca are busy. Alright, Super Trains, let's just all go away for the night to our sheds and just wait till we can help anyone in any situation. Okay, Blue Wanda, wait for me! <sighs> Count me in. I gotta see this too! Alright! Woohoo! Oh yeah! Meanwhile, on the mainland, D199 had been sent back to the other railway in disgrace. 
after three months ago of his plan to have the age of steam re being replaced with diesels have failed. I can't believe it! I just can't believe it! My plans for the age of steam to be replaced with diesels are ruined! There must be something I can do to get my revenge back on those Sodor engines! Uh. Then, he arrived at the station where another diesel by the name of D261 was waiting. Ah, 199. You've returned quite unexpectedly. That's because my engine failed when I was pulling a slow goods train on the island of Sodor three months ago. Uh, why can't that railway have more diesel engines like us rather than steam, Ace? Is that right? Well, where on earth is 7101? I thought he was going to be with you. That fat-hat controller decided that he, he can be. be part of his railway. I'm sure we've got enough ideas to get 7101 back to our railway. We can't let him stay on that pseudo railway for too long, you know. You have a fair point, 261. But how are we going to get 7101 back to our railway where diesels roll? I know just the tickets to do the trick. But really? Well, I'm listening. Because, uh, I heard that a meteor had crashed onto Sodor last night. Really? Oh, yes. And I, and whenever I was passing by on Sodor without a failed engine, I noted, whenever I was passing by the other night, uh, I heard that a blue train and his five, four colorful friends have found five magic crystals that gained them superpowers. Really? Well, I'm looking forward to hearing it. The next morning, Thomas and his friends were still at the super trains when the fat controller arrived. Oh, Thomas, Percy, Connor, Nia, yeah, and Diesel. I've just... What? 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 Wah, wah, wah. Why? What's what's happened to you, five? Have you all gotten big upgrades? No, sir. This isn't our new upgrade. This is our super train mode. Super train? What is that personality for, anyway? Because, sir, um, we heard we when a meteor had crashed onto Sodor the other night, uh, it revealed five magic crystals that gained. Superpowers, and we all tested them out, and we all got superpowers from it. Something like a new documentary for that, and and well, it just gave us superpowers, and well, we decided to become this. I decided that we should become the super trains and help anyone in any situations. Well, you've certainly done a fine job. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and we decided to have new names for ourselves. Like what, Diesel? Well, for certain, sir, I'm Blue Wanda. Kana is Speedy Chan. Yes. Nia is Safari Girl. Yep. Diesel is Black Mess. Yeah. Uh huh. And Percy is Mailboy. That farts letter, letter, uh, things. Well, that's a really good thing that you're doing, you five. However, there is something that you should know. What's that, sir? You all can't stay in that upgrade for so for too long, you know. Hello. Don't worry, you still get to help anyone on shoulder in any situations, but, 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 you, we can't let you stay in that mode for to just to. But, not only for us, but just only just just for, only for too long. That's what I'm like thinking of saying of my own uh, personality on some kind. Oh, okay, sir. So is it? Ju will it just be until the end of the week? Yes, yes, Thomas. It will still be at the end of the week.
Good morning, chaps. I see you've become the super trains and helped anyone in any situations. Yes, Harold, uh, but... <clears throat> How did you know that? Because, because, Kana, I have watched you, Fag. Like, help anyone on short or in any situations. For example, Kana helped Gordon and... And Thomas helped James, and can't and Percy, yeah, and Diesel have done some of the rest with the others. And that was a good thing, thanks to your magic meteor that crashed on Soda. That's right, Harold. This meteor seems a lot nicer too. Yeah, I wish we could be the super trains forever, and that we can handle things at any. Case, I'm sh I'm sure you could, Kana, but 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 uh, but but I believe she chopped my hats right. Now I must go to my helipad. I'm supposed to be like like doing stuff there too. Okay, bye, Harold. What should we do, Thomas? Should we continue being the super trains for a while until the end of the week? That's right, Connor. I, I, I mean, Speedy Chan. I, this seems a lot clever, too. Is that right? Well, I wonder if Bear could think of that sooner or later. Well, you'll never know what he'll do next, Diesel. Maybe his engine might growl like an actual bear. That's a good one, Thomas. Maybe Bear could pull some good trains sometimes, whether James or Edward or Henry are busy. Only time would tell, male boy. Now then, let's all continue helping anyone on Sodor in any situations we can do so. But nearby... Two diesel engines have watched and overheard everything. I'm guessing that was Thomas and his four friends as the Super Trains tow six one. Precisely one nine nine. I wonder what things they, that are glowing on their headlamps. Maybe they look like they're using some magic crystals that they got from a meteor that crashed onto Shodor last night, just like you told me. But there's one thing you should know. Uh. The, the meteor kind of reminds me about something like a nuclear flash. One of my brothers, who was the same class as me, sacrificed himself with one of those things. Really, really 109? Really? When did it actually happen? It happened back in 1984, and I'll be in Blancaster. It was heartbreaking to witness one of my classmates crash into a nuclear flash while pulling three empty coaches. He didn't even have a driver on board, his, him, which was so dangerous. I would never go off without my driver, 109. Let's go somewhere else on this island so that no one notices we've returned to Sodor. Good idea, Toshex1. Maybe we can do something besides trying to get 7101 back to our railway. Meanwhile, Percy was just popping along to check how Harold was doing. Hello, Harold. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, Percy. And, well, do you know what's your new job, Harold? Yes, Percy, I do. It's just being on lookout duty. In case if anything else is possible, I can call for you and the rest of your super drink friends to, to handle for that situation. So, I'm just going to do it now. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye, Harold. Meanwhile, D261 and D199 were hiding in the whistling woods. They were trying to think of something how they can get not only get 7101 back to the mainland, but to try think of something of the five magic crystals that Thomas and the others have got on the meteor. What's the first plan you have in mind about the crystals? 
Maybe we can sneak into Tetmashets tonight and quietly take the five magic crystals out of their headlamps. And that way we will be able to gain superpowers and have this railway to be replaced with de 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 diesel engines instead of steamies. <laughs> Surroundings. Oh. Right. We better find an airplane yard where no steam engines can go. Come on. Meanwhile, from above, Harold had overheard everything. So he went around to tell Thomas and the others what he had heard. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Yeah. Let's just take a quick rest before we can do anything else about that. W wait, Harold's coming. What is, what's he, why is he in such a rush there? Hold on, I think he looks worried. <sighs> Harold, w w what's the matter? Oh, uh, I just have to tell you something, like, there are two diesel engines on the island. Two diesel engines? What do they look like, Harold? Well, from what I can tell, one of them is blue with a yellow face that has the letters on his left and right sides, like D199 on his sides. And the other is a green one with just a normal face with the letters of D261 on his side. And I believe that they're talking about something like, like trying to get Bear back to the mainland and to... To, to what, Harold? Tell us. Come on, you can tell us. Yeah, we're the super trains. We can handle anything. <coughs> to steal the, your, the, your five magic crystals so that they can use them for their own and that they and that they could use them for their own superpowers to have the age of steam on this railway to be replaced with diesel engines like it's all around the island. Even thousands and thousands of them. Even thousands and... Thousands! Oh no! Can't give them up to them! No! 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 Oh, Harold! You won't believe what I'm just watching! Oh, uh, what is it, driver? Something like a nut trap video or a something you Just then, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Oh, oh no, what do we do? Oh yeah, yeah we can't give up on it. Yeah, yeah. I've got an idea. Really? This is the best you could do to find a place to stay hidden? Well, there's a lot of world stuff around us. I'm sure there won't be any steam engines that'll spoil our image. I need one of you diesels to take these empty coaches to Natford Station. I can't do it, sir. Oh, wait. Let me take the coaches instead. I can show the bag controller that diesels are more reliable than those useless steam kettles. Yes, 199. I suppose you could do that, because it can give you and me plenty of time to, to do that whilst we wait for... for for the time to steal the five magic crystals that that the five younger engines have got. Where are you going, driver? I'm just going to have a quick supper with the yard manager Until before I... I come back. Please don't wait too long. I've got to show everyone that diesels are better than steamies. I'm just going to stay put until something happens. <sighs> and it would, and it, it could, it could give us plenty of time just to wait whilst we wait for the new impact to happen to steal the five magic crystals that the younger engineers have got. You know the five ones. Yes, two six one, because I really want to. Have the two of us to use the superpowers to have thousands and thousands of diesel engines to to have everywhere around the island just to replace every steam engine with diesels altogether. Just like how 
that that blue toy train, same class, uh, were scrapped somewhere between 1961 and 1965. Hey, nice. And I'll just stand over here till something happens. Meanwhile, at a demonstration track, Harold and the four super trains were getting ready for a net trap, since Thomas had explained it already to them. Percy had brought a flatbed that would be demonstrated for the plan to see what, if one of the diesel engines would come by and crash into it and get curled up. Is that the, is that the perfect net you've got, Percy? Yes, Harold, but please call me Mailboy. I'm a super train, don't forget. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, come on, I'll, un I'll untie it and just prepare it with a little a new net switch. Nia could see that Diesel was rather worried. What's the matter, Diesel? Well, where's Thomas? I mean, Blue Wonder. What's up with him? I'm sure Blue Wonder will get here soon enough. Let's just wait to see if he's bringing a diesel engine or two to come by and crash into the net. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that can give us plenty of time to wait for that. Hey, Harold! Is is the net nearly ready? Not yet, Nia. It would be. <laughs> I'll just dump the flatbed away. Go! <gasps> Okay, I'll just check on the others whilst you handle it, Harold. Okay, Percy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tom Thomas was standing on a on a hilltop. He was trying to check if how in how many minutes that either one of the diesel engines would come by and crash into the net trap, just like. Just like the video that Harold's driver was watching. I really do hope that I can give, get plenty of time to tr to lead one of the diesel engines here. Besides, well, we've still got to do something like to stop them from doing what they're they're trying to do. And I really hope that the fat controller won't be, like, cross. Then, James arrived. Is something wrong, Thomas? I'm just keeping on the lookout to see if anyone uh, might need help, James. You carry on with yours, Job. Are you still a super train? Yes. Are you going to a yard to take a train? Then do me a favour and engage for the super train. Doing your job while I do mine. Alright, I'll leave you to it. See ya! Bye, James! <sighs> I really hope that there could still be plenty of time. For the for the new impact to happen, to see one of the diesel engines would come by and crash into the net trap. Because if that didn't work, then that would be more unreliable. At the demonstration track, the net was all um, unwrapped to, to and and there was a le a switch that was to press to activate it if one of the diesels would come by and crash into it. And Harold and the four super train guys were still waiting to see if Thomas was coming by with another diesel engine. I hope Thomas gets here soon. I mean, Blue Wonder. Because don't forget, you and the others are still help trying to help save the day. Don't forget. Yes, Harold, we are. Yes. We st I'm sure there won't be anyone else that will spoil our image. Just then, they heard a honk in the distance, but it wasn't the two diesel engines, it was 7101 who was looking on curiously. Hello everyone, what are you all doing here? We're doing a net trap for one of the diesel engines, Bear. Yeah, because, um, uh, this is like just a nuclear test for that. You wanna join?
Yeah, yes, I suppose so. But I just, I've just got other jobs I still need to do. So, uh, I could, could I do them afterwards? Of course you can, Bear. You can do that. Oh boy, I really hope that D199, I mean Spancam, uh, and D261, that's his friend, aren't coming up closer and closer just yet. They'll have to do Diesel, I mean Black Mist. Yes, I even know that anything else could have been possible back in my homeland of Kenya. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. Meanwhile, at the shunting yard, D199 was still waiting for his driver to return from his supper until he felt something rather strange on himself. Huh? Is it just me? Or am I starting to move on my own? Driver? Driver, are you there? I'll try to catch you up later. Later? But I need help now! I've got no driver! D199 moved slowly along the line without his driver in control. He started rolling slowly at first, but then was picking up fast speed as he realized he was going on a high speed runaway. If I've had automatic brakes, then I can stop myself from going off driverless. At the, at, the, at the small junction on the other side of the, the island, Thomas was still waiting for the signal to drop so that he can get to, to the demonstration track until he felt the rails shake beneath him and realised that D199 was approaching on the same track as he was. Hang on a minute. If I push that blue toy train into the sea, then it it'll change the whole railway industry. <laughs> I can do while I'm trying for this. <gasps> Bubble and boilers! Isn't that D199 coming behind me? Simpleton! Because I'm going to steal your crystal and I can use it for super powers, and then this whole railway will burn to the ground when it's full of nothing but diesel engines taking over the railway. <laughs> you can't stop me. I'm the super train leader that's around here. Thomas raced as fast as he could to get away from the big blue diesel. Just then, Thomas saw James up ahead who had broken down. Oh, Blue Wonder, help me! But Thomas didn't care about James. All he cared about was to get away from D199. Back at the demonstration track, the engines were waiting for the net trap testing to begin. And they were still waiting for Thomas to arrive. But it was taking like a couple of one hour and two minutes left, and uh, and the uh, and it, and and uh, and Diesel was getting a bit impatient. Oh, where's Thomas? Why is he taking so long to arrive? Just then, Harold looked round. Hey, I can see Thomas up ahead, but why is he in such a rush here? Diesel, Harold, I think Thomas is trying to get away from the big blue Diesel with the yellow face. Oh man, don't 
tell me that spam can who's coming this way. Everyone look out! Thomas, look out! Luckily, no one was hurt, but everyone was revealed how they finally caught D199, and he was feeling so dizzy and was curled up in the net like a teddy bear in a bag. Hang on, is that 199? What on earth is he doing back on Sodor? The fat controller then arrived on board Salty and ran over to D199 to see what he was doing back on Sodor. 199? I don't even understand. I thought I sent you back to the other railway three months ago when your engine failed. <laughs> oh, it's you again, sir. Well, what a surprise to see you here. My question is, why on earth did you come back to my railway and try to steal the five magic crystals that the younger trains got? What? Steal them? Oh, ho, ho. shut up! Um, well, I don't know what you're talking about. I had nothing to do with it. It was 261 who thought of the idea. I, I, I tried to stop him. Don't lie to me, 199. Because, um, Bear told Salty about that and he told me. Sir, please don't get let 199 and 261 steal our crystals that we've got from the meteor. Eh? I was never even thinking about doing such a thing like that, Thomas. But may I ask, how did you get into this mess? I was just racing up whenever I was being chased by D199, and then I went over some track points that would keep me safe from the net trap that, got, that curled up that big diesel. Is that right? Well, congratulations, Thomas, for your quick thinking and agility to save yourself from getting curled up like a teddy bear yourself. Thank you very much, sir. Hooray for Thomas! Hooray! Rattling radiators, what happened to you, 199? Ow, oh, 261, can you please... Untie me out of this big little net. I would, but only if you had your driver to move you back on the road. What's going on here? Gordon... I wasn't expecting to see you showing up here. So another diesel engine decided to show up, sir? Quite frankly, but I'm going to have some strong words for him and 199 when this wreckage is cleaned up. Uh, a little bit of help here, sir? Oh, yes, I haven't forgotten about you, Thomas. The hero of the hour will try to get you back on the rails in no time. Why? What happened to you, Thomas? It's a really long story, Gordon. Could you help me up? Of course I can. Anything for one of Pox, mates. Later that day, Thomas was pulled back on the rails after avoiding the net trap. Whilst the fat controller had some very strong words for D261 and D199. Diesel 261 and 199, I don't want to see you too much. Trying to steal the crystals that the five younger trains got to modernise the railway. I'll report to your controllers at once. Oh, great. We are both foiled. Glasses! I can't believe our plan for diesel to, to have superpowers is ruined! <laughs> so long, you two. It looks like you won't be coming back to Sodor anytime soon. Oh, shut up, you great big baby helicopter! Now, now, watch your language. Uh, Diesel 199, that's hardly suitable for the little ones. Come to think of it. <laughs> good one, Gordon, good one. Yeah, good, good joke, Gordon. You really told them to. Now, Harold. Actually, uh, uh, I could, like, have a, just have a quick sigh of relief for a moment, sir. Oh, uh, all right then, Harold. 
<sighs> that was good. Right, so you wanted to talk to me? Yes, Harold, I did. Now, as for you, because you've worked efficiently well by helping Thomas, Percy, Connor, Nia and Diesel, who are the super trains, to trap 199 in the net and get him called up like a teddy bear. You've done a splendid job. And I'm very proud of you for that. You are, sir? Oh, thank you very much, sir. I, I would really much appreciate that. So... What do you think you, that is suitable for me now, sir? Well, Harold, because you have worked efficiently for doing that, you'll be receiving a new coat of paint as your reward. Wow! Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I would really love a good coat of paint, but I think I'll just stick to my normal white paint for now, if that's all right with you. And could I have, like, some new fuel, like, in case if I run out of some times? Of course you can, Harold. You'll have some new fuel if you need me some. And if I need you further, I'll contact your driver. And that can be a good sigh of relief for that. Diesel 261 and 199 return to the other railway right now. <laughs> See you in hell, suckers! <laughs> Looks like we won't be seeing those morons again, eh, Harold? That's a good point, Thomas. Uh, I mean, Blue Wonder, <laughs> if that's what you want to be called. Okay, Captain Helicopter. Really? Is, is, that, is that what you want me to... Is that what you want to call me? Yes. It's like we got... You've got something, but more. All right, Thomas... You got a little mud on you when you went over the track points before the net occurred. Oh, yes. I have, thank you, Gordon. I haven't forgotten about that. <laughs> now, as for you, Thomas. Yes, sir? Whenever it's the near end of the day, you can go to the train wash at Brendan Docks where you can get yourself scrubbed up, cleaned up, and and polished up after what happened to me. You, you really mean it, sir? Of course I am, Thomas. So, what's going to happen to our meteor, sir? Well, uh, the meteor has been thrown away, but don't worry, uh, it's not... It's gone, but not forgotten. But don't. But there is no need to panic for that, because because after you and your friends have worked efficiently by helping everyone on Sodor in any situations on this railway, just like Harold, you will be receiving a new coat of paint as your reward for that, for your extensive bravery and to save yourself from getting called up in the net trap instead of D199. Bears worked efficiently on my railway since three months ago and the start of his new life on Sodor. I'll be letting him pull gust trains for whilst whilst Gordon, Henry, or James or Edward are busy. At least that diesel seems a lot nicer than we thought. That's right, Gordon. He seems a lot nicer too. Later that night, Thomas went to the train wash of Brendan Dogs to have his much stench removed. Then he saw Diesel. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing? I'm going to the train wash to get cleaned up, Diesel. But don't forget, I'm still covered in mud when I went over the track points before the net happened. Opened up. Oh, yes, I forgot. I'm just heading back to the steamworks to get this washed off. Okay, good luck. So Thomas continued his way to the train wash. After reaching up Gordon's Hill and going down it gently and having no problem breaking it off, he was feeling rather happy with himself. I can't believe it. Me and my friends have actually saved Soda once. Like, not only to help anyone on Soda in any situations, but to also save ourselves but without losing our crystals that we got from the meteor. 
and I'm sure that nothing like that is ever possible on on impossible on this railway. Not for long, Thomas had arrived in the train wash. But as he was about to enter, he saw Percy, Connor, and Nia talking to the three cranes about Thomas's bravery in avoiding the net trap. Oh my mind, that net trap must have been a disaster. It was for a little bit cranky, but it turned out Span Cam was the one that crashed into there and got curled up like a teddy bear. Well, it would serve him right for bullying you steamy in the past three months. Hello, everyone. I see you're talking to the others about... The, the three queens about my stunt, guys. We sure are, Thomas. Yeah, we still see you're still coming in mud when you went over the track points before the net occurred. We're glad you're still in one piece, Thomas. That's the main thing. Yes, Cassie is right. We were all worried about you when the net happened. So what do you think the Fat Controller did to those diesels? Don't worry about them, Carly. The Fat Controller already took care of that. He sent D261 and D199 back to the other railway and gave Harold and I a special rewards, like having a new coat of paint for our bravery. And after what happened in the past few days. Well, it would have served those two diesels right for everything they, they tried to do and you guys, right? Exactly, Cranky. Now that those diesel engines have returned to the mainland, we would now be getting some much-needed peace at last. But what about Diesel 7101? D7101, otherwise known as Bear, is staying with us on our railway. He's no kinder than that old reliable stab cab. That's right, hey, Percy. He seems a lot nicer, too. Is that right? Well, I wonder if this diesel can get along with me since... I have a clear throat that can go croaky whenever I'm yeah, like yelling at a few things that make me lose temper. You'll, ne you'll never know what he'll do next, Cranky. Maybe his engine might growl like an actual bear. That's a good one, Thomas. And I believe bear can pull a good train sometimes where the Golden Henry or James or Edward are a bit busy. Only time would tell, Percy. <laughs> Oh, that. But that's just a sorry. I'm just having, I'm still having mud here. But but first, before I, before I go into the train wash to get it washed off, want to hear the story how we got the meteor in the first place? Wait, you got the meteor, Thomas? That's right, Cranky. So when we were all asleep, the meteor crashed onto Sodor, and me, Percy, and Connor had arrived on the scene to see if it was all a bit clear, and it was. And then we took the meteor back to the shed with us. But then when it started glistening in the night time, I touched it and then it cracked open to reveal five magic crystals inside. And then me and my friends got superpowers and decided to become the super trains and help anyone on Soda in any situations. Well, you've certainly done a fine job. Well done. Thank you, Carly. Good on you, mates. Good on you. You're an ex you're you're an inspiration for all of us, Iman. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was the least that we can handle for. Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't have lo lost our crystals and the, the, the two diesel engines like D199 and D261 had, would have used them all and to gain this railway to be modified with diesel engines instead of steamies. Yes, Percy. Now then, let's all enjoy our time at Sodor's wonderful train wash and get ourselves scrubbed up from a busy day. Well said, Thomas. <laughs> but that's a story for another day.